Hello everybody. It's just going to be a little quick video today. We've come for a little day trip out to the village to have a little tidy up and see how it's faring from the weather that we've been having. As you can see there's a little bit of a collapse. Not too much. And the biggest water bubble in a tarp I've ever seen. Which is like, that's really heavy. Really, really heavy. Kiln is looking amazing. Like the top that we had covered over it isn't isn't even on it. It wasn't on it when we came. And I have no idea how long it's been uncovered for, but it survived perfectly. It's looking really good. So John and I are just here for a while to to have a little chat about what we're going to be doing over the next few visits here and our plans for the shelter. So I've just been sitting in uh, the little straw shelter, the little reed shelter with the window flap, um, making a brew, I'm getting out of the wind. John's uh, busy out there building a new wall. And I've been making coffee. So yeah, today's video is just going to be a little short video. Um, just an update of what's going on. But the camp where we're coming here to do the rest of the build uh, will be today's Thursday. And we're coming out here again on Sunday morning and we'll be here for two nights. So we'll be here until Tuesday. So the video will be getting uploaded on Tuesday. Be a bit of a longer one. And there'll be a lot more happening in it. So I've just lit the kiln. You can see it's absolutely raring away instantly. Nice chunks to feed it. It's gonna get it heated up and then John's gonna cook some stuff on it in a bit. So as you can see John's been busy <coughs> putting up new walls. These are the first two walls of the new shelter that we're going to be building. The kiln is burning up nicely now. Having a good time, eh? Right, this is us away home. I've decided I'm gonna put this little bit of footage from us being here today on the beginning of the video for uh, Tuesday. So yeah, you'll see the full process of us building the rest of this shelter. And that'll be next. Right everybody, here I am, back on the path of the village. Um, uh, John's already here. It's Sunday morning, about half past ten. And I've just driven out here to meet John. I'm gonna get going through all this brush. Been here for about half an hour and I'm getting mucky. Just uh, filling in this doorway that we were going to have in the kiln because I'm going to chimney it up. Um, this is going to be an epic, epic, epic shelter. This is going to be some serious central heat.
So, there we have it. Got that front doorway blocked off. And leveled off with the rest of it. Gonna get it fired up soon. John's been busy making walls. You can see the size of the shelter, it's going to be absolutely epic. It's like two of them little ones put together. Yeah. There's a giant kiln in the middle of it. Just like the top section of the kiln. Just to dry this bit off. I'm going to light the whole thing in a wee bit. See how much heat we can get out of it. So for anyone who hasn't seen the kiln before, John and I built this out of natural clay that we dug up out of the ground. And that's that there. And uh, it has a breathing system. So it draws fresh air into the underside of that brick and distributes it out underneath the fire base. That's the main fire chamber, which goes all the way up to the level of that brick that you can see going through it and that brick there supports the next sorry for my moving around supports the next fire shelf which is down in the base of there so you can have it burning twice so that's the first one of John's finished walls it's going to extend all the way around it's done a really good job of it there's barely any wind in there once we get the roof on there'll be none at all you can see how thick it is. It's a good two foot thick that wall. Yeah. There's the inner layer of logs, and then the tarp all the way around, and then it's willowed on the outside so you can't see the tarp. Really good. We've been busy, tapered off the top of the kiln. this nice chimney which we're going to extend up at that straight angle from there <laughs> you're trying to ignite the gas it, honestly the, the the heat that comes out of there and there's like a, a serious updraft you can feel the pressure I'm going to stop the video and get a bit of a distance look at that raised beds at either side of the kiln these amazingly thick walls and once we've chimneyed that off a bit more we're going to slap the rest of the roof and tarp it cut a hole for the chimney with a canvas tarp so that it's uh, you know relatively safe that's my first sighting of our uh, woodland cows that kick about and get in the shelter and cause all manner of havoc. Taking big, up a two in the last lead two. <laughs> big docile beasts. So, the uh, tapered section of the kiln that we just put on is starting to dry out nicely already. It was jetting flames out the top of it earlier on but I could barely capture it with the video so yeah, try and get a view inside if I don't melt my phone in the process. Just pure heat, absolute pure heat. So the next stage is I'm going to make thinner sausages and go around that and bring it up about here maybe another foot the last section of the chimney John starting on the uh, end wall uh, you can see the flames now now it's a little darker and more cloudy 
can see the flames shooting out of there. Pretty impressive. And not even any wood or any fuel in this in this uh, section of the kiln. It's just burning all the hot gases. So, sorry folks, I haven't been recording very much, but it's been a very busy night. Plenty of amazing things to show you in the morning. About half past ten, got our beds set up for the night. It's very warm in here. Nice. So we've got the quickest bacon cooker in the world. Cooks bacon in less than a minute. Once more. You know your bacon's done when it's on fire. There we go. Bacon and black pudding roll. Really nice. Another bit for some more there. Enjoying proper food after those. Um, Ration meals. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, proper food is the best. Hello everybody. It's uh, Monday morning. Had a really good night last night. Didn't do much filming because we were busy working. The kiln is now absolutely enormous. I'd say it's probably nearly seven feet tall. It's awesome. And when we got here yesterday, it was to there. We did all of that yesterday. John's made an amazing shelter. It was warm and dry all night last night. <laughs> and I think I dislocated my thumb. Yeah, John's knackered his thumb. I've knackered my shoulder from carrying in big huge pans of clay and I got stung by a wasp yesterday <laughs> on my chin. You can't see it, it's and tiny. It, it's swollen up to like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and I look ridiculous. I'm not gonna show you. There's a clip of me on John's video, you can see it there. But I look it's, ridiculous. It's, it's, you can't tell it. It's just, it's more of a little tiny graze. You can't tell. Yeah, there's a little tiny graze, but then there's tell. like a baseball or a golf ball of like. Just turn the camera on and let them see, Tim. It's not that bad. So this is me. See, I said it wasn't that big. Yeah, <laughs> that's nasty. where the sting is, and that's what the swelling looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are, this is the shelter, well, this is the back of the shelter, this is the site of the village, where all the other shelters used to be, the front entrance used to be here, and then two shelters there, and all the way around. You can see why we've left it for a while. It's completely swampy. And there's the side where it connects onto Bruce's shelter. I'll take you around the front. 
there you go this is the front and the entrance you can just see John busy packing bits into the wall for insulation that's the side of Bruce's shelter just there it's really big inside so Here's the entrance, and there's the wall that John was just stuffing with reeds. I'll take you inside, and hopefully it's not too dark in there to see. So, there's the main event, the kiln. Which I've got chimneyed up out of the roof. We've got one bed on one side. John's bed's just over there, past him. Really big A framed roof that you can easily stand up in. It's really nice, warm and dry. So here's the uh, the side of the roof where the chimney comes out. And there it is there, just peeking out the top. It does a really good job of taking the smoke out. So we've got lunch on, sausages and some salmon parcels in the bottom. Salmon parcels done. John's juggling sausages. So this was the plan and it's working fantastically. Lying here, a nice fire burning in the kiln and it's just giving off so much heat. I'm warm all the way down to my feet. John's nice and warm over on the other side. Just lying on top of our sleeping bags, it's that comfortable. Staring up at this enormous construction. Just get it heated up throughout the whole day and it just keeps giving off heat all night
well guys that's me going to sleep now it's been another fantastic day really really enjoying this new cabin so comfortable and warm anyway I'll see you in the morning Alright everybody, nice fresh morning today, bit of a chill in the air but the kiln's still kicking out some real good heat, my face is still a bit swollen, <laughs> but just have to get on with it. <laughs> I had some great nights here, really enjoyed this cabin. It's been a good cabin like. Yeah, it's fantastic, it just holds so much warmth. I love this sleeping bag. <laughs> they make a difference, <laughs> they definitely do. <laughs> it's that big you can hide behind it. Alright, well that's just packing away now. Still looks mighty dark in here to my camera. Come on camera, focus. So yeah, that's the size of it. John's not exactly short and... I'm six foot two. It's higher than me. And then you've got another good six, seven inches of it coming out of the top of the roof. And I'm just packed up. We've got the two helmets there for John. So the last stage before we go is just to cover up the top of the chimney with the bin lid so that it doesn't get wet. is almost out so that that bin lid won't warm up too much before it goes completely out and there we have it I'm sorry I've not had uh, more footage but as usual when you're building and working away especially with clay and your hands are totally clotted up there's just you can't get your phone in and out your pocket all the time and set it up so the next time we come and actually do a full camp here There'll be plenty of footage. And I still can't believe I lost my knife. Yeah, <laughs> he's still sore about that. Well, just on the way back to the bike. Get packed up and don't fall over, get packed up and go home. I hope you've all enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed this one. Anyway, thanks for your uh, support. Big thanks to all my recent subscribers. I've had a big jump in my channel lately. Uh, obviously a big thanks to all the people who've stuck around since the beginning. Right, all the best to you, see you next time.